Something has appeared in the earliest corners of the universe. Something so strange, so densely packed, and so luminous, that it shook the very foundations of cosmology. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward the edge of time, it captured something we've never seen before. Countless red dots, glowing like distant embers, scattered across the cosmic canvas. But these weren't stars. They weren't galaxies as we knew them. In fact, their very existence seemed impossible, defying the rules of structure, gravity, light, and time. For over two years, these little red dots baffled astronomers, suggesting that the laws of physics as we understand them may not have always applied. And now, as new observations come to light, one terrifying truth is emerging. What if the early universe was governed by a different set of rules? What if reality, in its infancy, was something else entirely? It began with what seemed like a glitch. In late 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope started returning images filled with faint crimson points, tiny yet absurdly bright. They weren't red-shifted galaxies moving away from us. These objects were red because they were red, because they were shrouded in thick clouds of cosmic dust that swallowed every other wavelength of light. And they weren't rare. These little red dots appeared in almost every deep image Webb took. But when astronomers calculated their distances, what they found was even more shocking. These mysterious objects existed around 600 million years after the Big Bang and vanished just a billion years later. That window is cosmically narrow. And yet in that brief era, these dots erupted into being across the universe and then disappeared completely. What were they? Why were they so bright? And most of all, how could something so small contain the power of a galaxy? At first, scientists assumed these red dots were simply small galaxies, dense early versions of systems like our Milky Way. But the numbers didn't add up. The light they emitted was too intense. The inferred mass was too great. And their size? Just 1% the width of our galaxy, yet with star counts rivaling the largest known structures. That level of stellar density should have torn them apart. Stars smashing into stars, collapsing into black holes, bursting with energy that should have been fatal to their own existence. It was a paradox. The physical constraints of the universe said these galaxies could not exist. Not like this, not that early. But Webb wasn't lying. These dots were real. Theories faltered. Some astronomers wondered if they were seeing dark matter effects or unknown interactions between fundamental particles. Others whispered of exotic physics, new forces, hidden dimensions, or relics from a pre-Big Bang universe. Because if these structures were made of stars, then something was terribly wrong with our understanding of matter, mass, and time itself. Then came the most radical theory of all. These weren't galaxies, they were monsters, supermassive black holes, born absurdly fast, growing impossibly large, and buried beneath clouds of dust and gas. The dots weren't glowing because of stars, they were blazing because of accretion disks, vast rings of matter spiraling into black holes so massive they warped space itself. This would explain their compact size and their overwhelming brightness. But it raised a new problem. How did these black holes form so fast? In the present-day universe, central black holes make up a tiny fraction of a galaxy's mass. But in these ancient red dots, the black holes accounted for nearly all the mass. This flips every rule of galactic evolution, Instead of black holes growing within galaxies, maybe galaxies were forming around black holes. That would mean black holes came first. And if that's true, it could mean the early universe didn't just evolve. It exploded into complexity, driven by gravitational monsters unlike anything we see today. Still, skepticism remained. Without definitive proof, scientists needed more than theories. Then, they found it, hidden in the hydrogen. When astronomers studied the emission lines of these little red dots, they noticed something strange. The hydrogen signals, the Balmer lines, were thick, far thicker than expected. This is a smoking gun. In astrophysics, broadened emission lines mean motion, violent, high-speed rotation. It's Doppler effect on a galactic scale. The only way gas could orbit that fast was if it were circling something with immense gravity. And in every case, that something pointed to a black hole. A huge one. In fact, the gas was moving ten times faster than it does around the black hole at the center of our own galaxy. No star cluster could explain that. 
No baby galaxy could fake that kind of speed. This was it. The final confirmation. These weren't star factories. They were black hole engines, devouring matter in the shadows of the early universe, and doing it in ways that defied every known model of cosmic growth. The laws of astrophysics had just been broken, not by theory, but by observation. As more data poured in, an even darker realization began to emerge. What if these red dots weren't unique to the early universe? What if these black holes never truly disappeared, but simply went dark? One of the reasons these ancient structures puzzled astronomers for so long was because they didn't emit X-rays, the signature byproduct of black hole activity. That alone cast doubt on the black hole hypothesis, until someone connected the dots. The answer wasn't in what they emitted, but in what they couldn't. At such high densities, X-rays become trapped, absorbed and scattered by the thick gas cocooning these objects. The radiation never escapes. It's smothered in silence. And this silence has masked an entire era of cosmic evolution, a hidden phase where black holes grew unseen, fed by enormous reservoirs of matter, quietly building the monstrous cores of galaxies. James Webb revealed not just anomalies, but a missing chapter in the universe's story, a time when light was consumed faster than it could travel, and the most powerful objects in existence were cloaked in cosmic invisibility. And this era may not be over, because if that process happened once, it may still be happening now. In galaxies so dusty, so distant, we've simply never noticed. This revelation forces us to ask a chilling question. Have we been looking at the wrong things all along? For decades, astronomers have built models of galaxy formation, star birth, and cosmic expansion based on visible light, on clean data. But what James Webb is revealing is something far messier. An early universe dominated by chaotic growth, veiled in darkness, and driven by extreme gravitational forces. The little red dots represent more than a curiosity. They are a blueprint of violent beginnings, a time when galaxies weren't built gently, but torn into shape by forces that didn't wait for the rules to catch up. It suggests that many of our deepest assumptions about when stars first formed, how galaxies assembled, and how long black holes take to grow may be off by billions of years. Webb has opened a window into a realm of violent acceleration where physics played by different rules, or perhaps no rules at all. And if so, then what else might be hidden beyond that window, waiting to challenge not just our theories, but the very foundations of what we believe space and time even are. And then, they were gone. Every one of these red dots, hundreds if not thousands across the sky, disappeared from the cosmic record just 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang. Not slowly, not gradually. They vanished, transformed into something else. But into what? The most likely candidates are quasars, brilliant galactic cores powered by black holes. But even that transition feels abrupt, like skipping chapters in a book. Something triggered these compact objects to burn through their dusty cocoons, revealing their luminous cores and reshaping their galaxies. Maybe star formation pushed outward, thinning the gas. Maybe violent mergers ripped the structure apart. Or maybe the objects simply exhausted their fuel, collapsing into quieter, colder forms. Whatever happened, it left no survivors. We see nothing like these red dots today, not in any nearby galaxy, not in any modern black hole system. They belong to a vanished era, an age where growth was unchecked and physics was forced to obey something deeper than gravity, something primal, something we may never see again. And yet, there are whispers. In a completely unrelated survey, researchers cataloging strange compact galaxies stumbled upon something eerily familiar, green peas. Unlike the red dots, these objects exist in the more recent universe, but they share some unnerving similarities, high density, intense emissions, and a short-lived presence. Though they differ in color and epic, some astronomers now suspect they may be the evolutionary cousins of those early monsters. Perhaps fragments, perhaps echoes, perhaps just reflections of the same phenomenon unfolding again in another era. But the key point remains, if little red dots could exist then, and if green peas exist now, how many other phases of cosmic evolution have we completely missed? How many entire species of galactic structures have come and gone, unseen, undocumented, and misunderstood? 
Webb is doing more than capturing distant light. It's revealing the shadows, the remnants of realities we've never accounted for. And the more we stare into those shadows, the more it becomes clear. Physics isn't broken. It's wider than we ever imagined. And the early universe was its wild frontier. The little red dots were never supposed to exist. They were never in the equations, never in the models. They weren't part of the elegant diagrams taught in textbooks or the neatly ordered timelines of cosmic history. And yet, they're real, etched into the first billion years of the universe like scars in space-time. What James Webb uncovered isn't just a new chapter in astronomy. It's a warning. A warning that the universe is more chaotic, more violent, more mysterious than we ever dared to imagine. These black hole-powered anomalies shattered our understanding of how galaxies grow, how matter behaves, and how light travels through the fog of creation. For decades, we believed the laws of physics were universal, fixed, immutable. But now, we must ask the unthinkable. What if those laws were forged in the chaos, not in the calm? What if the universe didn't evolve by rules, but by rebellion? The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't just shown us what's out there. It's exposed how little we truly know about where we came from, and how much of reality remains hidden, waiting to be discovered in wavelengths we've only just begun to decode. The little red dots are gone now, but their legacy lives on, not as a problem, but as a revelation. A keyhole glimpse into a cosmos that refuses to be tamed, where physics bends, light lies, and time burns at the edge of reason. So, what else is the universe hiding? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you believe these black holes rewrite cosmic history? Or do you think we've only scratched the surface of something far deeper, something the laws of physics can't contain? If this video opened your mind, give it a like, share it with someone who still believes science has all the answers, and don't forget to subscribe for more revelations straight from the edge of the universe.